I'm installing this new sink in our bathroom and I have an issue with the drain being way too low and in fact there's a floor here, the shelf in the bathroom, new bathroom cabinet where if you're using just a regular standard P-trap, it's you can't, even if you use an extension tube here, if I lowered it enough, I still can't reach the the drain. So it doesn't go low enough to, hit the, to get to the drain. Now they make flex pipes, but I don't really like the flex pipes because it's places for stuff to get caught up into. This is the issue. I have to get the drain from up here down to there. I found at the Home Depot, and this is available online too, I found the Snappy Trap Universal Drain Kit for bathroom sinks. And what they do is they use, um, they, use they have kits for kitchen sinks too, so it's the same diameter, it's like one and a half inch uh, as they use for kitchen sinks, but then they include some one and a quarter inch adapters like work in bathroom sinks. And bathroom sinks have a smaller drain pipes than kitchen sinks. I was really hoping this would be the solution, like that this flexible pipe would come down and connect to this pipe down here. So let's install that and check it out and see how that works. I'm still like two, three, two to three inches off over here that I have to, that the pipe has to be like pushed back in to be able to fit there. Okay, so that sort of helps, but it's still, it's still applying a lot of pressure to go crooked. And I just feel like, I'm just worried that it's like gonna like cause a leak or something. That's, I don't like it applying that much pressure. And in addition, I don't like this taking up this much space. Now I can't, now I'm losing storage space in here because of this big contraption. Here's a solution I've come up with after some figuring it out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to this very inexpensive pipe, P-trap, and I'm just going to put it up all the way as high as I can. I mean, I may even, um, I don't want to interfere with this, but I could even, I could even cut this drain pipe a little bit and get it up even higher to get it out of the way so you have more storage space underneath. I, I, I'll probably do that. And so what I'm going to show is, I, as I found, a way to use some PVC couplings, and then I'm going to use a, these are one and a half inch couplings, I'm going to use a one and a half inch PVC pipe to make up the difference in height. And I'm going to use this PVC pipe to, um, to one and a quarter, one and a half, one and a quarter inch tubular pipe adapter, which was, came included in the other kit. I'm gonna, this actually works now with this concept, so you can buy, you can buy this separately uh, just to use it like this if you have a copper pipe or you can use it, you can use whatever, whatever rubber coupling. So I'm gonna fit this rubber coupling over the drain pipe. I'm gonna put this PVC pipe over, over it like this. I'm gonna cut this extension tube shorter so that I can get as close as I, close as I need to. And then I'm gonna cut a, piece of PVC, one and a half inch PVC pipe to go between these two and glue that with PVC glue. Oh, I forgot to show this part. This is cool. This is a 90 degree angle. And this is a one and a half inch male adapter that fits into the 90 degree so you don't need to put a piece of pipe there. And then it has the marble connector on the end already integrated, integrated into it. So I'm basically creating my own marble connector in the wall by doing this. And so this can slip on to the end of this drain pipe here. And if I shorten that, then I'll have a, um, a connection between the two that is a lot cleaner now and a lot more usable space in the cabinet than the, than the other system. First thing to make this work and get the maximum amount of space is I'm going to cut this pipe, this drain pipe, right about where this will fit all the way up as far as it can go into it. So I'm going to cut it off right about here. It's good to deburr these pipes after you cut them. And you can do that with a deburring tool, it's a little bit faster. PVC deburring tool. Um, if you don't have that, just do like what I'm doing and use a knife to deburr and put a little bit of a chamfer on that edge. 
so now I can put this P-trap back up in here and put it as high as I as high as I can fit it without interfering with the back. And this, this will be perfect right here. Gives me the maximum clearance between this shelf and this for storage space back here. Now the other thing I need to do is shorten this piece right here. But first I'm going to determine what the length of PVC pipe I need is, and then I'll shorten it afterwards. Got a measurement here of about seven and say like seven and a quarter. Okay, I cut the pipe. Let's test fit everything together first before gluing. Still need to cut this piece up here, but even even this is already better. Even if I didn't even if I didn't cut this extension tube, it's already better. Um, so let me pull this extension tube out of this, and then I'll put it straight back and determine how long it needs to be. Extension tube can go can go pretty far in here, so cut the extension tube right about here. That should be good. This tube is now cut shorter. Fit it into this piece. This PVC fitting on the back. Keep that straight and just give it a little turn like that. Leave this straight and then just turn the P-trap a little bit to feed into there. There we go. I just got to get glued up together, but that's a lot cleaner, a lot more space. So here you can see it straight on. And then from the side, you can see what's going on here. It's not glued or hose clamped together or anything yet. Um, but a lot more usable space in this cabinet now. Here's a piece of PVC all glued together now. So it's got the 90 degree bend with the male to female connection. So the male connection, I can just put the, put this on there with the hose clamps and then hose clamp it onto the copper pipe in the back. And then the top has the marble connector that goes onto the standard drain pipe, bathroom drain pipe. Go ahead and attach this hose clamp, this hose clamp on or at least tighten it up where it'll slip on. Slip it over the copper pipe in the back. Slip this uh, one and a quarter inch bathroom plumbing fitting into here. And here's the final result. So it's, um, if you pull back, pull away from the cabinet, you'll see it leaves a lot of usable space in the cabinet. And it's all attached together and glued up. I think it's a really nice install, really very clean there.